Hey, what is up, YouTube? WWE fan five four five back here, and today we have September's custom. And as you could see, it is this beautiful Kenny Omega custom action figure. Now, for the hairpiece, that is going to cost you. Hold up, let me pull it up. What it costed me was ten bucks, which actually ain't too bad. And then the head scan also cost me ten bucks. This is from the battle, the basic series DDP. That's where the hair piece came from. If you want to use the elite, it's gonna cost you around fifteen. Uh, old Daniel Bryan head scan. I prefer the. Don't know what series it is, but I'm pretty sure it came in a battle pack with Kane. Or you could do any Danny Bryan with no, like, beard. And that's, like I said, that's going to cost you around 10 bucks. And then for the kick pads, those are Austin Aries kick pads. I just used my Austin Aries, but I am going to guess that those are going to cost you around, like, 5, 10 bucks. Not really a rare figure. And Shawn Michaels Elite, if you have those, use those if you don't mind. Um, also, because Shawn Michaels Elites are more expensive, and I only got one with kick pads, and I still want to use it. And the overall body will cost you, well, I got the, it will cost you a lot of money. If you're looking for it on eBay, Probably gonna cost you twenty to thirty dollars, which ain't gonna be too bad. Well, thirty is actually a lot, cause that's usually the price I spend on a custom totally. And it also comes with the arms, so that's another thing to not worry about. Knee pads, you could get these from the Austin Aries, and as you could see, there's. A little bit of paint chippage, which doesn't bother me because I painted it. And as you can see, there's like a little tiny gap in between the boots where the boot and the thing connects. And as you can see, it's not supposed to be like that because look, you see any gapage there? No. Um, but. Yeah, you can basically use any kick pads, but if you are going to use kick pads, do not use the Daniel Bryan style kick pads, because those are way, way too long, and you don't really want to ruin your Johnny Gargano, I'm pretty sure these kick pads would work, but I am not ruining this brand new figure. Kenny Omega, he is good, all done, and basically for this project, you are going to need a Dremel to Dremel the hair off of Daniel Bryan, you're going to need black paint, obviously, and also gray and blue paint, blue paint ain't hard to find, this gray is actually pretty hard to find, I tried to gray that came with the like Seth Rollins basic that did not really work because it blended in more and also you're going to need a sh little sharpie marker as you can see on the boot here it says K Omega and then on here it says cleaner hold up let me get it to focus the E and the R on mine are smudged, but really, you could do any Kenny Omega attire, attire you want, but I did this attire, black hair, so this is kind of like fantasy, not really good. It's fantasy because black hair, he had the yellow streaks in at the time. But black is easiest, and the yellow was actually really, really hard to find. I couldn't find it at all. 
And also with the Macho Man TNF figure, you gotta paint over the stars that are on that figure. Now, I do not have another Daniel Bryan with like a very early style build. I do not have a another Macho Man TNF figure. I do have like three or four Daniel Bryan basics and one elite with the beard. And the DDP, I do have that. That's why I used it. I really, really, really need to get some back, some clay to fix this. Because look at this. That's what's on the back of a figure's head. That's what's behind their hair. And, yeah, that is really, really crazy. I'm in the process of filming STS episode number 20, I believe. Kenny Omega will be debuting on a brand in the near future. And the K Omega and the Cleaner. I still need to get the t-shirt done. Might just order one offline. I don't know because I haven't made a t-shirt in a while. This is the last t-shirt I made. Put it on my custom of myself. That I currently use for STS. And the Jeff Hardy. I put the entrance grade shirt on the Epic Moments. Because that just looks great. And also, Kenny Omega. I will... I probably will get like a lot of stuff so this figure is probably gonna cost you around 50 to 80 bucks which is if you think about or no 50 to 70 which you think about it it is not that bad and also 50 to 70 is you might be saying, wow, that's expensive for a custom. I have seen people use the DDP head scan. I just think that the Daniel Bryan one looks best. And up close, you can see there's like the hair and the beard are a little bit far apart. But back over here, you can't really tell. It blends in. Torso choice is great. So, th that's the cheapest way to make a Kenny Omega, and plus, Kenny Omega review is done, so peace out, 545 Army.